Hello there. Are you ready to learn how to turn $10,000 into even more? Let's dive right in. Have you ever wondered how much money you would have made if you had invested $1,000 in Tesla when it went public 10 years ago? Well, let me tell you, your investment would have multiplied by 30 times. But that's not even the best part. If you had invested $1,000 in Tesla on March 7, 2011, your investment would be worth almost $120,000 today. That's a total profit of $118,829 with an annual return of 61.2%. Imagine if you had invested $10,000 in Tesla in 2011. You would have turned into a multimillionaire. And if you had invested $100,000, you would have earned more money than you could possibly spend. However, investing in Tesla was a big bet and its value is based on what it could potentially achieve in the next five to 10 years. Many investors fear missing out and have put their money into Tesla, but the question we want to focus on is, if you have an extra $10,000, where should you invest it? Firstly, congratulations on managing to save $10,000. Not many people can do that, and even if they do, they often spend it on unnecessary things. Now, on to the best options for investing your money. Take a moment to look at the data a majority of young people have a negative net worth. 69% of U.S. adults have less than $1,000 in savings, and 34% have no savings at all. With an additional $10,000, you can place yourself in the top 30% of the wealthiest Americans. Now the question is, what to do next? How can you make the most out of that $10,000? Is there a way to double or triple that amount, or even grow it to millions? We will address all these questions and more. However, before we continue, please show your support for this video by giving it a thumbs up. It's important to note that this video is not providing financial advice. Everything mentioned here is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Number one, high risk individual stocks. Investing in high risk individual stocks can yield impressive results in the stock market, especially when there is a company on the brink of disrupting a particular industry. The stock market has the potential to skyrocket over a period of 10 to 15 years. We're not just talking about gains of 10 to 20%, but rather thousands of percentage points. Take Amazon for example. Since going public in 1997, its value has increased by a staggering 212,000%, surpassing any other stock. An initial $10,000 investment in Amazon in 1997 is now valued at $21.3 million. However, Amazon is not the sole company that has thrived in this manner. Another notable example is Best Buy, which has achieved a total growth of 10,000%, or around 26.2% per year, since 1999. A $10,000 investment in Best Buy in 1990 is now worth $10.9 million. It's natural to feel regretful for missing out on such opportunities, but it's important to keep in mind that there will always be the next hot stock. Every day, numerous businesses emerge with the aim of disrupting entire industries. Therefore, if I had an extra $10,000 to spare, I would consider investing it in a few tech companies that show potential for transforming specific industries. Instead of choosing just one company and risking making the wrong bet, diversifying the investment across three or four companies could result in substantial long-term wealth. Number two, wait for an opportunity to arise. One of the greatest challenges I faced is the fear of missing out. Every day that my money remains in the bank account, I am losing it. Firstly, inflation diminishes the real value of my money. Additionally, I'm foregoing potential gains by not investing in the S&P 500. However, after making several mistakes, I've learned not to rush. It's acceptable to miss out on a market rally since the market continually fluctuates. Rather than attempting to exploit every small opportunity, focus on significant victories. If uncertain, retain your money. Recall Buffett's two most fundamental money principles. Firstly, do not lose money. Secondly, never forget the first rule. Occasionally, you come across an opportunity that is undoubtedly a once-in-a-lifetime chance, and investing $10,000 may transform you into a multimillionaire. That is precisely when you should invest. Number three, create a business. If you have a family or financial responsibilities, maybe you should not take this path. There is a higher risk of losing your money when starting any business. However, if you are in your 20s, it may be just what you need. 
You have very little influence over stocks and other assets when you invest in them. Someone else decides what to do with your money. Your money's growth is determined by how hard other individuals work. But when you invest in a firm over which you have complete control, even if things go wrong, you can put in more hours, be more creative, and still do something about it. When it comes to launching a business, I understand that $10,000 is not a lot of money. Yes, when you have big capital, it's much easier, but that's the point. $10,000 is enough to get you started, especially when it comes to something online. People launch web enterprises for a fraction of that price, so there are no excuses. Number four, open a Roth IRA. We sometimes complain about how rich people avoid paying taxes by creating complicated schemes. We blame corruption on the system. However, there is a simple way that anyone can avoid paying taxes, but they don't. A Roth IRA is an individual retirement account in which you can make tax-free investments. Wait a minute, no taxes? How is this even possible? You pay taxes on your income when you get paid, so your money has already been taxed. If you use that money to invest in a Roth IRA account, you will not be taxed again. Your income will not be taxed, regardless of how large your investment becomes. Assuming you create an IRA account in 2011 and invested $1,000 in Tesla that has grown to $120,000 by 2021, you are not required to pay any taxes on that. If you save that money until the age of 59.5, you can withdraw your initial investment, which in this case was $11,000, and avoid paying taxes. However, if you do not want your profits to be taxed, you should hold the money until the age of 59.5. It is free and simple, and you should do it as soon as possible. The only problem is that you can only contribute to your Roth IRA account at up to $7,000. Assume you are 20 years old and invest $7,000 of your $10,000 in the S&P 500 through your Roth account. The next year, you repeat the process until you reach the age of 60. You'll end up with $3.2 million and you don't have to pay any taxes on it. In fact, you may withdraw your initial investment tax-free every year. Peter Thiel is one of many who took full advantage of this. In 1999, Peter Thiel utilized his Roth IRA account purchased $22,000 worth of PayPal stock. He was given a special price since he was one of the founders of the company. But by the end of 2019, his Roth IRA account had grown to $5 billion and he didn't have to pay any taxes on it. And finally, invest in real estate. What can I do with just $10,000 in real estate? Before you drop a negative comment, listen to what I have to say. But if you still insist on doing something, just drop a like. That will greatly help the channel. What distinguishes real estate from other assets is the ability to employ leverage safely. It could be difficult to locate something with $10,000, but you can easily control properties worth three or $400,000 when you use leverage. In Forex, the stock market, or crypto, your broker immediately closes your position if the price of the asset dips below the amount you have deposited. But when it comes to real estate, the bank cannot do that since you have a 30-year mortgage contract. You may also get your tenants to pay your mortgage. Yes, you don't always get a good deal in real estate, especially now. However, based on historical evidence, real estate values always grow in the long term. They crashed in 2008 but recovered by 2013 and have been rising since then. This means that rent rates will eventually climb to the point where the property will be profitable. And we didn't even consider the idea that the property's worth will grow with time. If you could save $10,000, that means you are disciplined enough to double or triple it or grow it by a much larger percentage. The most important thing is not to rush with your decision. Don't let the fear of missing out push you to waste your money. Subscribe for more weekly investment tips and leave a comment below. Happy investing.